Hello everyone, this is Robin the Sudoku Guy with session 12. And when I first look at this, I don't see anything that quickly stands out other than the fact that we have several uh, rows that are all filled in, like here, that we need to be aware of. So let's start with horizontal blocks, ones. Only one, one, it can go many places. Leave it. Two, it's the same. Three, yes, we have a bottom and a top. So we'll put the three in here so we now have another line to be careful about. Fours, yes, because of this line, watch what happens to the fours. We only have the one four, but we can't have a four in here or here, so it has to go up there. If it goes up there, then we'll need to have uh, middle, top, fours can go along in here, so we can put small fours there. Um, fives. Well, when you look at this 5 here, because of this line, you cannot have a 5 in here. Cannot have a 5 there, it's filled up. The 5 has to be up in here. And if I look down here, there's a 5, so it can't be there. It has to be there or there based on what's below. So we can put two small 5s in there. And if that's the case, we have a top, we have a bottom, and we have a middle over here. If there's a middle over here, we look down here, and there's a 5, so it can't be there, it has to be there. Now, is there a ramification of that 5? Yes. When I look down, I see that we have a left, we have a right, it should, could be in the center here or here, but it can't be there because of this 5, so we can put that 5 right in there. Now, what's the ramification of that 5? A middle, a top, it has to be in the bottom in here somewhere, they can't be there because of this 5, can't be there because of that 5, so the 5 has to go there. So that was very profitable uh, understanding that the 5 had to go up the top there because of this line. Now it's pushing on 6s. Well, in the case of a 6, if I were to put the 6 up in here, it would have to come into this line in here and it won't work. So therefore the 6 has to go either there or there. If the 6 goes there or there, that means that up here we can have 6s. Well, there's a 6 down in here, so this would be a 6 and that could be a 6. 7s. There's a 7 here and a 7 here, so the 7 has to go in this block up on the top level. But there's a 7 there as well, so that cancels that one out. There's this 7 cancels that one out, so this becomes a 7. Now, is that got any ramifications that I can see? No, not really. Um, eights. Well, in the top three blocks here, we don't have a lot of places that we can really work on for the eights. Let's do the nines. Here again, because of this line down in here, the nine cannot be there. It cannot be there. It has to go up on top. If it has to go up on top, it's like the four, which means it will become a matching pair. Uh, if that's of nine, and that's going to be a nine, therefore, this has to be a 9. So we've got another 9 over there. Very good. Now, I could at this stage um, fill in these three. There's two other numbers that can be in here, and it's easy to work out what they are. Let me see. They are a 1. Yeah, it's a 1. A 1. Can't be a 1 in this one, so that's a 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and an 8. One, and one, four, and an eight. Now, because we've got uh, an eight, a one, that we know that there's only one, four, and eight can fit in these three cells, we can now work out what should go up there. Because you, can, you what you do is you count the whole block. One, two is missing. So, two can go up here. Uh, it can go there. And it can go there. Now we have, re have a good idea of what numbers can go in this block using that system. As we move along, we'll be able to find out. As I get more numbers down here, we can cross them off. We're talking about crossing them off, let me just mention this for, uh, as, as it occurs to me. You'll notice that all the way along so far in both the courses that I've offered as well as these uh, tutorials, that I'm... I'm Cross, not crossing out the little numbers, I'm, I'm, I'm erasing them. Now the reason I'm doing that is it becomes less cluttered and you like to finish up with a neat puzzle. 
but there are some people who would prefer not to do that. So on this puzzle, I'm going to try and remember not to, to remove those little numbers. Um, for some people like that because they see what I've done better. But the problem is, it gets very cluttery, particularly if you have a small grid. So the decision is yours. Now, we were up to, uh, we were doing these horizontal blocks, now we're going to do these horizontal blocks once. We have two ones, a top and a bottom, so, but in here we can have a one in the middle, but we can't have a one there because of that one. Twos. No twos, leave it. Threes. Uh-huh, no threes, leave it. Fours. Well, here we go. Because of this particular line here, if I were to put a four there or here, it can't go there because it's already in that row. If I were to put it there, there's no place to put it up in here. So we have to put a 4 here and a 4 there. If we to put a 4 there, 4 here, 4 there, therefore over here, therefore, got the pun, we put a 4 fours here, and that's fairly unusual to get that many 4s like that happening. But I can tell you right now that gives me a clue as to what's going to happen down here, but we cover that in another session. Um, fives. Well, we did all the fives. Sixes. Whew. No sixes. Leave them. Sevens. Yes, we have two. We have a top. We have a middle. Down here we could have put it in the bottom. There's a seven right there, so this becomes a rule seven. Eights. This is a good one. Uh, bottom. Top. Has to be in the middle here. We put a series of eights. Boy, eight, eight, eight. I'm not going to underline any of them because there's another number that's going to have to go in there. Um, sometimes some more than one, but there's another number. Okay, pushing right along. Nines. There's no nines in these middle blocks here, horizontal. So we'll go to the bottom horizontal blocks. Ones. There's no ones. Two. Yeah. Lots of places for the two. Threes. Uh, there's one three. But let me do a cross and see if that helps us at all. If I go across here, I'm looking at this block here, that eliminates those three cells. And if I take this three up here and go down here, that eliminates that cell. So we three could go either here or here. Mm-hmm. Now let's look at say, doing the cross technique over here to see if it helps. I'm not sure if it does. Let's find out. Here's a 3. It goes across here. Here's a 3 that comes down here. That means that these could be a 3. Cross, cross. If they are a top, here's a bottom. The 3 has to be here. Now that means that this can be crossed out and I put a real three. It can't be here because the rule of exclusion of these trees eliminates this one, so I can cross that one out too, and I can put in a real three here. Now, what does that mean? Interesting. We may be able to have a three here or here. Well, I'll put the little three in there and a little three in here, and we'll find out later, see how that works. Um, fours, no fours down below. Fives, well we have a middle, we have a top, there could be a five here or a five there. Sixes, we have two sixes, top, middle, we could have a six there or there, but not there because of that six. So we'll put a little six in there. Sevens, well, this is an easy one. Seven, uh, top, middle, has to be down in here, but it can't be there because of that seven, so this now becomes a seven. Um, eights. Mm. Eights could go in several spots. No, no eights at all over here. Uh, eights, I can do a cross here, see what happens here. We'll go across this way and then down this way. Oh, we have many places for an 8. So let's leave it. 9s. Now, there's only got one 9 along the bottom here, but 
this block here is fascinating because this nine cannot go there or there because it's in the same row. Therefore, the nine has to go down there. If the nine goes down there, that leaves us uh, with a block with only two. So, remember, I was doing nines. And so what I'm going to do now is another little clue, another little hint. You've probably noticed that in the previous puzzles that I've been doing, sometimes I've been going through the procedure and I forgot which number I was up to. Well, I'm up to nine. I'm just doing the nines here. I'm going to put it up here to say that that's where I left off. Somewhere, just to let people know, or maybe a little bit closer you can see. I'll put a little nine here. How's that? That's just for my knowledge. If I look at this nine, middle, bottom, the nine can be up in here. It can either be here or it can be over here. Does that mean anything? Not right now. But I have just noticed here. Look, see we have a nine down in here. And if we go up this column, there's a nine there. So that crosses out that nine and this becomes a four and this becomes your nine. I'll cross out the nine and we'll cross out the four now. See how messy it can become? Um, what does that mean? Well, it means that we have a nine possibly left and ramification of that was a nine there or a nine here. Now I see, a, just, you know, I'm still at the nines, remember? <laughs> um, because we did this in this block, I immediately can say that there is a number, there's a matching pair in here, there's only two numbers left. So let's see what they are. It's a one, two, well we're missing a two, I know where that's going to go, we'll come back, back to in a minute. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, it's an eight. So we have a matching pair with an 8 there. Now that matching pair, before we just accept that, there's several things we can do with that matching pair. Let's do it right now. First of all, here we have an 8. So we can cross out that 8 and put a 6. If that's a 6, then we cross out this 6 and put an 8. Uh, so we now filled our whole block just because I recognized that the 9 was going to be down there. Now, while we're at it, I'm still in the nine. We've exposed now another block with only two numbers left. Let's see, how, see what those two numbers are. One, yes, it's a one, is one of them. Two, in this block here, we've got a two, three, four. It's a one and a four. So I can put, put them in, underline them. All that because of this nine. Now we've finished the um, finished everything in here, I think. So what we'll do now is do the vertical blocks this way. Ones. Well, ones could go in quite a few spots there. But one thing I forgot. I just noticed when we did this eight six here, we've only, we've got a whole row with only two, only one one left, and it ha happens to be a two. Does that have any ramifications? Well, it fits in here because we've got a middle, bottom, it's going to be up in one of these twos. Now we have a block here, this is interesting, we have a block here with only two left in it. What are they? Let's have a look. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eight. Is that right? A one and an eight. Fascinating. Look at this. One and an eight. I'm not going to write them in. Look down here, 1, that makes that a 1 and 8, therefore that becomes the 1 and we completed a block. Now we know that for a fact that 2, 5, 6 are the only or two, then three numbers that can go there. Moving right along, we were doing the 1's over here, is that right? Oh, well, we'll finish the 9 here, so we'll go to the 1's. Don't see any good spots for a 1, let's do some crossing. There's going to be a 1 here, so we go across here. We can't have a 1 there because of that one. Therefore, we can have a 1 here and a 1 there. That's a possibility. It's easy to miss that one. Okay, 1, 1, 1, 1. I can see some future there. Okay, 2s. There's no 2s. 
Tush could go everywhere in here, all kinds of places. So that completes this puzzle.